Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, John here from the Invasion Show, back at it again with another Rainbow Six Siege news update. Now, before we begin this video, let me say I do apologize that this video should have came out yesterday, but I wasn't happy with the quality of the work, so therefore I had to delay it so I can put out something that I'm actually proud of. Also, you might notice that I'm not using my face cam for this one. I want to try something different. I want to try something new, so let me know down below if you like uh, the direction that I'm going with here. If you don't, I can always go back to the old style. Uh, also, I am still doing that giveaway with the Rainbow Six Siege figures. The link is down in the description below. It's a Gleam link. All you have to do is click on it and check the necessary requirements in order to enter in this giveaway. Keep in mind, it's US only. Now with that out of the way, let's go and watch this trailer of Operation Burnt Horizon, Grilllock and Mozzie, and I can share you my thoughts after it's done. Gridlock and Mozzie in pursuit! Out! Gridlock, deploy tracks! Well, the trailer wasn't long this time around. Like most Rainbow Six Siege trailers, we really don't get anything more than maybe a minute or two. If we're talking about Operation Outbreak, or, you know, we're gonna get something a little more lengthy. But this trailer kind of just shows their gadgets almost in use, except for Mozzie, which is the male character in the group. We all thought that Mozzie was the female and Gridlock was the male. Well, 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 we were all fooled. We were all wrong, which is, you know, it's cool. Cool. Gridlock, whatever, I like it. So let's go and look at the very first shot that we see. This is Gridlock's gadget. Though we don't see it fully deploy its red tracks. That's right, track stingers. We don't see it because it's covered up by the smoke left behind. Second, we do see Mozzie's gadget. Now this is the cool part. We do see it at almost full deployment. However, we don't see it in use. It cuts off right there. So it leads me to believe that yes, we are going to be hacking some drones of some kind. In fact, there's information providing this. If we jump over to the Rainbow Six Siege website, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Meet Gridlock and Mozzie. Now, I'm not going to read everything here. There are some key information that I do want to share with you. And I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, you already know everything about these operators. But you probably want my take on it, which I do respect. Thank you for watching the video. So let's jump over. All the way down to the bottom, we do have names, okay? Gridlock is Tori and Mozzie is Max. Go further down, it says Gridlock will de will be deploying her track stingers, originally designed to stop pursuing vehicles in their tracks, to add a new dimension to her team's control of their surroundings. Right off the rip, I'm getting these vibes that Gridlock will be able to anchor down positions on the map, keeping the defending team from entering inside. Now, are the red track stingers going to be destructible? You can guarantee that they will be destructible. Are they gonna have high damage? Most likely they will. Are we gonna see one? Are we gonna see two? That's debatable until we see it at the official trailer release at the six invitationals. Now, but my understanding here is that she will be able to lock off certain areas of the map. And that is a brand new element of Siege that I do enjoy. So I hope to see this in action during the invitationals and something that maybe not OP, something well balanced. Then again, we do get the nerfs and buffs right after that update. Moving on though, we do see Mozzie. Mozzie as a defender would deploy his pest to make the enemy team think twice about their intel gathering strategies. Reading that, I'm getting a multiple or a plethora of vibes coming off of Mozzie. I'm getting Vigil vibes, I'm getting Dokubi vibes, and I'm getting Alibi vibes. We don't know where to go with, with this one. Uh, it says that we gotta think twice about our intel gathering. Are we gonna see double operators? Are we gonna see false operators? What will you know we see? Is Mozzie going to be able to control these drones? That is the question that everyone is dying to look for. And I'm sure that the leaks will probably happen before the official release dates of these trailers. But you know, from now on, we have to keep it speculation, take everything with a grain of salt. So I am really interested to see how his gadget out of 
Out of these two operators, Mozzie's gadget works because it's enticing. We see it in the trailer. We see it's the, you know, we see the first few seconds of its beginning of hacking, but we don't know what it's actually hacking and we don't know what it's actually doing. But I am excited for this operation. Speaking of operation, with this brand new operation comes in a plethora of nerfs and buffs, and that's in the form of the designer notes. Let's jump over there real quick so we can see what the hell is going on in Rainbow Six Siege. And we have to address the elephant in the room. We all heard about it, we all thought it was fake, but it's actually real, and some of us are rejoicing on this matter. And it's Ash. And Ash has lost her ACOG from the R4C, her strong primary. I want you to think about this. Ash was an operator that is picked all the time when it comes to the wind delta. Ash is the primary operator to pick on the attacking side. I'm telling you, she is the most versatile operator that you can use. In fact, my very first experience with Siege was with Ash. So take that with you, okay? Ash is everyone's number one go-to. So her losing her ACOG is a big deal to some and a lesser deal to, to others. Ash is very powerful. Ash can do a lot of damage very fast. So removing the ACOG from her powerful primary, the R4C is going to force players to use the G36. Now, the G36 isn't a slouch. Keep that in mind. It's not a slouch whatsoever. That itself will still have its gadgets in place. By gadget, I am talking about the ACOG site will still be on that uh, weapon, the G36. So Ash is still a threat, but this is the beginnings of nerfing Ash without totally rebalancing her from the get-go. Now, the only thing I want to tell uh, Rainbow or Ubisoft out there is to fix that hitbox. Listen, to this day, her hitbox is highly questionable. It really is. But I'm glad they're going in the, you know, in the right direction with this nerf here because, you know, Ash is just OP. She's super versatile, like I said before, and she can do things like no other operator can do. So to see this, it's... It's nice, it really is nice. But moving on, we do see some other nerfs and buffs at the same time. Maverick has increased swap time between Siri Torch and weapons. Now, we all know that boy can switch up things really quickly, so to see the increased switching time from primary to gadget is kinda nice. Dokabi, this is a, another big one in this patch, man. I'm telling you, they really went in on this one. Dokabi, after 18 seconds, phone calls from Dokabi will hang up on their own. Now, I did state that this was probably in the workings last designer notes update that we got. And I did say, you know, let's leave it alone. Let's leave Dokabi and let her remain a threat. Because it really doesn't, I go against Doka Bees all the time and it doesn't put me in a position you can either turn it off or you just go after it because you know she's around the corner, right? After 18 seconds, it'll shut off. That changes up her gameplay completely. Not only she would pop that thing right off the jump, now she has to use it a little more strategically because she's getting counters. Being in range of mute jammers will prevent Doka Bees from calling you. Walking into range of mute jammers will hang up phone calls during the call. So now Doka Bee has hard counters left and right and a default counter. That is the 18 second mark. Going on, we see Capital. He does get a buff and a nerf. And I think this is fair, I think this is balanced because going against a Capital, if you're, you know, for instance, you're Echo, you're behind a shield, you're deploying your Yokais, that's a safe place for you. There's no other way, maybe a flashbang, smoke, grenade can get to you, but Capital will find his way. Capital always finds his way. So increasing area of effect size, they also have a little gift down here that you can see what we're talking about. Keep in mind, it won't go through walls so you're safe on that regard the damage however let's keep that in mind reduce damage per tick from 19 to 12 now keep in mind uh, you know his gadget isn't really used to create damage it's more of a blocking off areas and holding down sections of the map so does this hurt capital no it only makes him stronger in my opinion we keep going on and we'll see clash removing muzzle break on machine gun pistols lesion goo mines reduce uh from eight to four damage now this is a is the same situation as capital 
Goo Mines aren't really used to inflict damage to the operators. Goo Mines are more of a detection system, okay? If you are well coordinated with your team and you let them know where you place your Goo Mines, that right there is the ultimate lesion. <laughs> because we we don't use it for the damage. We use it for the to detect enemies throughout the map, and it also creates that pressure against shield operators such as Blitz and Montaigne. Going on, it talks about breaching charges being faster, which is nice, and it goes with the current status of deployable shields, shield operators, <laughs> my boy Lion, Glass, and Blitz. Now Blitz, we all hope to see the day that you get nerfed into a oblivion. Going against a Blitz is like going against God. It's hard. It's doable. 99% of the time, it's not. So I am glad to see that Blitz is going to get the rework. Also, they, they hurt my boy Lion, and it hurts me in the soul. It really, really does. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I know I was late with this video, so please bear with me. Let me know if you like this new style of content. I kind of dig it. I do feel it. I don't have the have you know don't have the pressure of using a face cam, using lighting, none of that stuff. So let me know down below if you like this video. I'm really gonna try to pump out more content in the future regarding Rainbow Six Siege and any other games that I like that I'm feeling at the moment. So please. So with that said, if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, always give it to yourself. And if you want to support the channel for free, all you got to do is subscribe, baby. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Tell your friends. Tell your family about this channel. We're 2,000 subscribers strong and only going up from here on out, baby. This is John from The Invasion Show saying peace, peace, chicken grease.